Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this matte, smoky, cool tone eye look. I wanted to do this eye look for a long time. I love cool tones and I haven't done a cool tone look with my palette. So the first thing you wanna do is prime your eyelids. You can use an eyeshadow primer or your favorite long lasting concealer. Um, just make sure that it's not really like a really creamy one that kind of moves around your eyelid when you open and close your eyes. Um, then you're good to go. Uh, I'm using the MAC Paint Botanical Soft Ochre, which is my favorite. And then I set it with a little bit of powder to lock it in place. Now, then for the next step, I'm gonna take a black pencil and I'm using this one from Inglot. It doesn't have to be an expensive one, um, but this was just the one that was laying close to me. So I'm gonna take this and create a line in my crease. So this is gonna be like the guideline for our cut crease. So. I don't know what the English word is, but, but in Dutch we say like, it's called like a schets, like a sketch of the shape of what you want to create. So I'm making it a little bit thicker and after this I actually want to blend it out and I'm just taking a tiny pencil brush and going over the line. And I'm just kind of smudging it out to make the line a little bit less harsh. I actually haven't done a cut crease where I did this trick with the pencil, but I remember I did this quite often back in the day, so I wanted to do it for today's look and just see how it goes. But it's actually, it turned out really good and I don't understand why I'm not doing it more often. But I'm just smudging it out um, with a clean brush. So right now you can just kind of see the pencil itself smudged. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sigma palette that I created together with Sigma, which I will link down in the description bar. And I went in with the black color, which is called Levine. And this is a matte black shade. And I'm just going a right on top of that pencil. And I'm just going over it and just smudging it out. Um, at this point, it doesn't have to look perfect yet. You just wanna make sure that you blend the eyeshadow on top of the line and go a little bit higher to kind of create this smudginess. It's hard for me to explain, but don't focus on if you feel like the edges are harsh at this point, because we will blend it out with other colors, which will make it look better. But this is kind of gonna be like the base for the cut crease, kind of the base of the darkness, if that makes sense. It's kind of hard for me to explain. For those who don't know, I'm from the Netherlands, so normally I speak Dutch. English isn't my first language. So I'm trying my best, but with some words, I just never really know what words to use. But now I'm gonna go in with this light gray color and just blending around the edges, uh, going in with this color a few times and just going along the edge <laughs> to make it a little bit more softer. You can go as high as you want. Um, I'm not going super high. I still want that lightness underneath my brow to kind of show up so you get like a nice gradient from dark to light, from like the crease point towards the brow. But you can see it's already starting to look so much better. You can already see like a nice gradient coming, uh, which is nice. So trust the process. Then I went in with a little bit more of black eyeshadow and blending a little bit more of that along where I first applied the pencil. I just felt like I maybe smudged a little bit too much. So the intensity of the darkness kind of went away and I still want it to be quite dark. And then I also used a combination of the color Leon, which is the gray color with a little bit of the color Levine, which was the black color and blended a little bit, a little bit more of that. And yeah, I think it's looking good so far. If you feel like the harshes or the edges are still looking a bit harsh, you can always go in with a lighter color to make it softer and just kind of play around with that. So now I'm going in with some concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which is my personal favorite concealer to cut the crease be using this concealer for years and years and it just works for me. So whenever I find a product that works for me, I kind of stick to it. Uh, but there are my maybe better products, I don't know, but this one just does the job. I'm using a flat definer brush from Sigma Beauty to create that line. And I'm just going right underneath where I created that line at the beginning. So that's like a nice guideline for my crease. So now I'm going in with the color Cottage from my Sigma palette and applying this at the inner part of the eyelid. Uh, we're gonna do like a transition from light to dark on the eyelid. So I'm starting with this white color at the beginning. And then after that, I'm gonna go in darker and darker to create this nice ombre effect. Also blend it a little bit underneath the brow. And then for my next step, I'm gonna go in with the color Concrete. 
uh, which is a super light gray so since it's super light um, you can't really see like a huge difference however you need to do this because it will make a difference because um, the more colors you're gonna use the nicer the transition is gonna look so next to that I'm gonna go in with the color Leon which is a little bit of a darker gray color applying it right next to that color concrete and a little bit on top of it to make sure that those shades blend into each other and then after this after this color I'm gonna go in with the color Levine to make the outer part even darker um, so this is that color and kind of tapping it at the outer part that is still kind of left with no product and since I also use this black color in my crease I'm also kind of blending it upwards towards my crease so the black eyeshadow fades into the blackness in my crease and it just gives a cool effect so I'm trying to also kind of blend it on top of the color Leon so the gray fades into a black shade don't be afraid to kind of blend it on top of each other so now I remove the eyeshadow guard um, and this is how it's currently looking. So now it's time for eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Beauty Wicca Gel Eyeliner, which is a basic black gel eyeliner. I happen to really like this one and I'm just gonna go for a simple line above the lash line. And the brush that I'm using is a Sigma E75 brush. I do have a special discount code for the brushes, uh, which I will link down in the description bar in case you're curious. But I'm just gonna go for like a simple line. You can also do like a wing liner because you can see I already have that sharp edge going on. So you can just follow that line and go for a wing line. I didn't do that. I don't know why, um, but I felt like it wasn't really needed. Um, but I think that will look really beautiful as well. So instead I went in with a little bit more black eyeshadow and I just faded that around the edges to smudge everything out. Then I went in with the liquid liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, which I really like in combination with a gel liner. So you basically first apply a gel liner, doesn't matter which brand it is, and then on top of that, you go in with a liquid liner and it makes it more matte, it makes it look more black, and it just kind of makes it stand out more and it's also gonna be more long lasting. So if you want your eyeliner to look as black as possible, definitely try it out and let me know how it worked for you. So now I'm gonna go in with some black eyeshadow for underneath the lower lash line as well. Uh, again, taking a flat definer brush. Um, I'm using this brush in almost every video. I also used it to cut the crease. Um, you can use it for many things, but I especially use it very often to apply eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line like I'm doing right now because it's just easy. It's like a super flat brush. So it just helps to use it for if you wanna apply something like a little bit more precise. So now I'm gonna go in with a black pencil and this is actually the same one as I used for creating that line in my crease. So it's the Inglot black pencil. Um, it's super black, it's long lasting. I actually really like this one. Then again, I'm using a little bit more of the black eyeshadow because I noticed that I still could see like a little bit skin in between the pencil and the lower lash line. So I wanted to make sure that that was covered up as much as possible. And then after that, I went in with the color Concrete and Leon and blended both of these colors underneath the lower lash line to make it look all more blended out in this area as well. So I'm really curious how you think it looks so far. Let me know if you're gonna give it a go. I know it's quite a dramatic look, but you know, even for if you're just chilling at home and you just wanna do something crazy, you can always practice and see how it looks. It's kind of getting like creative. Um, just like people are painting, you can also paint on your own face. It's fun. <laughs> you don't have to go outside if you don't feel comfortable, but it's actually really nice to do an eye look like this. Um, especially if it turns out great. Like I remember the first time I did a cut crease, I was so proud of myself. I was like, oh my God, mom and dad, look what I did. And they were like really amazed, like, whoa, how did you do that? <laughs> I really liked it. So now I'm gonna go in with the Baby Doll Cosmetics Lashes in the style number 634. Um, these are so pretty and I really like how they look in combination with today's eye look. But yeah, that was the last step. I really hope you all like how it turned out. Let me know if you're gonna try it out. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I just hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just
Just a bit of sugar.